But, notice, if the 12 were the major eyewitnesses for the broad mass of traditions that we find, shall we say, in Mark's Gospel and the parallel material in Matthew and Luke, then we should also note that there is a key part of the narrative from which the 12 are no, no, noticeably absent and could not have served as the eyewitnesses. Um, and that part of the narrative, including the story of the crucifixion and death of Jesus, his burial and the discovery of the empty tomb. Remember the 12 apostles uh, flee in Gethsemane and they're not, uh, Peter hangs on, but then he denies Jesus. And after that, none of the 12 appear in the narrative at all. Um, until in Matthew and Luke, uh, after the resurrection in Mark, they don't appear at all um, within, his, within the text we have of his gospel. But those events, the crucifixion, the burial, the discovery of the empty tomb are crucially important. They're the most crucially important part of the whole gospel narrative. So surely eyewitness sources would matter here more than anything.